All right, back now, 920. Uh, Fairfield Center Stage continuing its 2018-2019 inaugural season with something really cool. Okay, it's the holiday season, so they're going to do a Christmas carol. Mm -hmm. That's been done. But they're going to take it up a notch, taking place this time at the historic Burr Mansion in Fairfield. And we're going to tell you what's going to make it cool in a second, but joining us, we wanted to say hello to Artistic Director at Fairfield Center Stage, Christy McTouch Newsom, along with Sana Prince, sorry. They, they call you Prince? Yeah. Why? I don't know. My dad just thought it'd be cool. <laughs> well, <laughs> Prince, can I call you Prince? Yes. Prince sir. it is. Nice to have you both here. Let's start with you for a second there. This is the first season of uh, the Fairfield uh, Center State. It's doing really well. Yeah, it's because, doing great. Because you guys are doing uh, traditional shows and newer shows, mm -hmm. but you're doing them in different locations, yes. and that's what sets us apart. Environmental theater. Uh -huh. So we picked the shows based on the venues, mm -hmm. which is different and a really fun experience. Mm -hmm. So we're at Burr Mansion right now. And so let's talk about that, because here, here's, you know, the uh, a Christmas Carol, I mean, iconic, mm -hmm. obviously. Uh, but what sets your show apart is you're not just going to the Burr, uh, Burr to see it. You're going to kind of be immersed in it. How? Well, we've adapted the Dickens script uh -huh. based on the rooms of Burr Mansion. Mm -hmm. So, for instance, the audience will follow Scrooge and the ghosts from room to room. They'll follow Prince as he's the ghost of Christmas past. Mm -hmm. He takes them from one room up a staircase to another room to another room. Uh -huh. And they're just going along for the ride. And do you follow a set path? or yes. is it Okay, so the yeah. story is largely the same. Adapted. Oh, it's the same, okay, yes. Okay, perfect. Prince, question for you. You've been on stage before. You've been on Hartford stage. You've been at UConn, which is a, a, quite a tremendous resume for how old? Um, 13. I love that. This is, you're not just an actor, though. You're also kind of like a, a guider, if you will, kind of just you know, ushering people into the room. Is, is that an added level of challenging for you? Well, I mean, not really. I mean, Christy's kind of like set the path for us and uh -huh. we've taken tours. Mm -hmm. So that kind of makes it a lot easier, actually. What makes this acting gig different than the others that you've done? I mean, um, it's different because we're actually doing it not just on a stage as you'd usually expect. We're doing it in a mansion, uh -huh. which is really cool. Uh -huh. And it's, you, like you said, historical. So sure. it adds to the effect. Uh huh. Now you play the ghost of Christmas Path in a, in a mansion, a Burr Mansion, which is uh, pretty old. Any any ghosts around? Have you have you caught up with any of them in in in, in the joint? Um. Yeah. I mean, I know most of them from previous <laughs> shows. So. <laughs> so you're you're in good hands, is what Prince is saying. Uh, Christy, this is the inaugural season for for your your company. What have you ta what, what do you hope folks will take away from, from seeing A Christmas Carol in, in such a different and, and unique experience? This time well, around? we had a test audience last night mm -hmm. at a tech rehearsal, mm -hmm. and what most of them said was, I've never seen anything like this before. Mm -hmm. And that was really the goal. It's like you said, people have seen Christmas Carol. Right. We wanted to do something very, very different with it, make it totally immersive. Sure. When mm -hmm. the show opens when? Tomorrow. Tomorrow, and there are a few tickets kind of just straddled about <laughs> between now and Christmas because they are going fast. They are. If you want information, the website is? FairfieldCenterStage.org. And you can see this young man, and may, perhaps he'll even guide you around. You're doing a number of shows on the weekends, a couple times during oh, the yes, day, right? Oh, yes, we have right? four shows on so, Saturday. So there's plenty of options to, to catch it, and it just sounds like a tremendous amount of fun. We wish you both the Thank best you. of luck. Break Thank a leg. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> and please, don't break a leg, especially if you're walking people around. That's going to be whole thing that I don't think they're ready for. I don't think insurance covers. Nice to see you both.